Welcome back to another video and today we're going to talk about the most common error that you probably will face and it is the access not trying to read a property. So let's begin. So the first thing, let's try to understand what this error actually is. So essentially what this means is that the system is trying to access some kind of a value and it just simply does not exist. So that's why it's saying that it accessed none because none, it's basically like empty. So in this error message right here, it's trying to read the property, which is the variable called as third person character. So that's the variable it is not able to read. And then over here in this one, it is trying to read a variable called active camera. And that one also is empty, so it cannot read it. Now, obviously, uh, you can still play the game. As you can see, I'm still able to play the game and everything is all right. Everything seems to be functioning. But when we press escape, we get a bunch of errors over here. Uh, so obviously this error does not break your game, it does not crash your game, but just simply system doesn't know what to do and then it just outputs an error saying like, hey, this value doesn't exist and I can't do anything about it. So uh, first, let's have a look at the first one that I made. So this is a very basic, basic principle. So what I have over here is on begin play, I'm creating a widget and displaying it on my screen. Now this is the widget, all it has is just this one health bar and as you saw in the preview it was empty because well it cannot read its values so it automatically is going to make it empty. Now what I did essentially is made a binding for it which should display the amount of my health of, uh, of my character's health. Uh, here is the variable which it cannot read which is called the as third person character. Now all I've done is essentially just made this variable inside of my variables right here and I set its type to be the third person character. But if we look at the default value of it, it says none. It doesn't matter if it's a single player or it's a multiplayer game. If you just simply create a variable, you cannot expect it to work because there could be 10, 50, 100,000 actors with the same exact type and you need to specify which one exactly that is. Now there are multiple ways how you can access uh, and provide this information. You can get the reference when you spawn a thing. So let me real quick show you. So for example, if you spawn actor from class, here is the reference to that, the return value. Uh, it returns you the uh, actor object reference. So whatever actor you may you may spawn over here. So let's say we spawn a third person character. Instantly when you hover over this, this is going to tell you third person character object reference. So this is one of the ways how you can access a actor's reference. Now usually you won't going to be spawning them the characters over here, at least not in the third person character. You might be doing this in the game mode or whatever, uh, but you will be spawning multiple other different actors and then over here you can get their reference. Now, you can also, obviously, you can save this as, so if we promote that to a variable, it doesn't matter the name, but the type instantly, as you can see, is the third person character. Now, if you have multiple variables, multiple actors that you pr prefer to store maybe in one, let's say you want to store the information about which is the last actor in general that you interacted with, you can also just simply create the, uh, the variables type to be just an actor. Let me click this change. There we go. And now this variable right here is just a wildcard actor. So it can be any actor and this is going to work just fine. So we don't need a target. Uh, we just simply want to set it. There we go. And then we can plug in the third person character's reference over here and it's going to hold that specific actor's reference over here. But then from here we cannot get any of its values, we cannot get the health because if we use the third person reference we can get the health directly, we can use get health and it's going to return us this value. But if it's just an irregular actor obviously we cannot get these values because it doesn't know exactly which actor it is so it cannot access those values. So then we need to cast to the third person character like this and then we can get the health value and it's going to work just fine. But of course, like I said, first we do need to store this value. So what I did wrong over here in the UI HUD is, well, I don't get that value. All I have is just a variable created, but I've never set it. So the fix for this is very simple. Basically on the event construct, whenever we create this widget, instantly the first thing we do, we cast to the character. So we can cast to the third person character and then we can set it to be this variable right here. But always when we 
cast so to something, we need to specify to which object exactly we are casting. Now, a lot of tutorials on uh, on YouTube about Unreal Engine 4 are mostly for a single player game. So what I've seen often is that they use get player character, which is perfectly fine. It will work just fine if you are working on a uh, on a single player game. But the issue with this is that it's always going to return the player with this specific index. So if it's like a, a list and server hosted game, then it's going to turn you the host character. Or if it's a dedicated, then it's just going to simply return you the first character who basically has connected or who's the inline uh, being first. So uh, this isn't going to work for multiplayer. So for that, we have another uh, node, which is called get owning player pawn, which is essentially returning the owner of this widget. So as you can see, gets the player pawn associated with this UI. So whoever has this UI hot on their screen is going to be the one who's going to be returned over here. So we can plug that in. And there we go. Our error is automatically fixed because we on event construct, whenever we create this widget, we save the player's reference. And now the binding can access this value and it knows which character it should be. So now if we hit play, there we go. We have a full health. We press escape. No more errors. As you can see, there are no errors. Now I made another error. So essentially on keyboard key E, I should be able to delete actors, but I cannot. If I spam this a lot and press escape, boom, a bunch of errors that is telling me that it cannot read the property active camera. Now that is because... so. Uh, Probably the next best thing to explain right here is how we can actually find the location where this error essentially is. So at this point, I've already explained that we know that it's trying to access a property called active camera. So we are looking for this variable with this exact name. Now, where can we find this variable? We can find this variable in our third person character. It's trying to execute something in the graph, in the event graph. And the location for this is the sphere trace channel. So this node right here, sphere trace is using that uh, active camera variable. So let's look for this. So we can just click on it. It's going to bring us to this node. And then we can backtrack through the properties of it. Here is the active camera. It's trying to access this and it cannot access that. Now that is because, well, I've set up a very basic camera swap. So let's say we have two cameras. We want to go between first person and third person cameras. So we want to be able to do a line trace from one of these cameras. So whichever is active at the time, we want to do a line trace from that specific camera. So what we need to do is usually uh, in my tutorials, I use the follow camera like this. And then you will see that we get no more errors. We press E and we still get an error, which is called access none trying to read the custom event target destroy actor. And that is because, well, I've never provided a actor over here. So we can just plug in the hit actor. So whatever we will hit, that is what it's going to destroy. So again, here we can see that it's trying to read a property from the custom event and the property is the target. So custom events target is not accessible when we are trying to destroy an actor. So we are looking at destroy actor and the target is this one right here. So that means that we have not provided it. So over here, I did it like this. So obviously there is no value over here. So it's going to give us an error over here because, well, we passed along nothing and we do need to pass along at least something. So now with the fellow camera being here, with the target being provided, we can now hit play. And then, as you can see, we can destroy every single actor in the level, including the ground. There we go. So if we look at the error log now, we can see there is no more errors at this point. So let's say now we want to do, uh, we want to make sure that we can use the active camera instead so that we know which is the active camera. So now it's given, going to give us the error again. So here where we are flip flopping between the cameras, we are deactivating or activating one and then going to the other one. What we want to do is at the end of this, we want to make sure that we are setting this active camera variable so that we don't have to check uh, which camera we are activating, uh, which is active right now, we can just simply use this value. So over here, I'm activating the FPS cam. So I'm going to grab my FPS cam, plug it into here. And at the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing with the follow cam. 
there we go now we can hit play and now we can do this from any of our cameras there we go so no more errors now few more small details that might be a little bit handy so for every single variable that we have uh, well with the actors mostly we can do a couple of checks so the first and the quite most common one is the is valid check so let's say let's break this thing again so it gives us an error so now if we do something we get a bunch of errors that we cannot read uh, in this case it says the active camera uh, we need to recompile it oh uh, yeah so the issue with this now is that by default the active camera again is empty because we have not swapped it yet so it's going to be empty by default now here comes this node right here will be very very useful so what we can do over here to avoid this error is to go ahead and check before we access that specific variable which is our active camera which gives us the error we can check whether it is valid now if it is valid then we can proceed with the code so over here you will see that now we spam e there are no more errors no more errors but as you saw also the code did not work that is because it is constantly going to return us that it is not valid and it's not going to be able to do nothing about it so what we can do over here is well for this situation right here what i would personally do is on begin play i would set my active camera to be the third person one which we are using by default so that would be the fix that i would probably do in this specific situation but what we can also do is do the same thing over here so whenever it returns us that it's not valid we can set it that the follow camera is our active camera at this point so now at this point this should be functioning just fine but here we have another issue with this one we recreated that error so now if we press a bunch of e you will see that now it's back to the uh, trying to read property custom event target because well i unplugged the target over here so it's very useful sometimes especially in the online matches uh, online games it's a bad thing if you have it you might want to backtrack to see what went wrong but before destroy actors it's often a good idea to basically just check whether if it's valid so it doesn't give any unnecessary errors but ideally it shouldn't be giving out this error at all it should be fine uh, right off the bat there we go so we're gonna check if that is valid and now we're gonna receive no more errors obviously it's still not going to do anything we have no errors but it's no longer giving us the error but if we provide a hit actor then we should be just fine there we go so now we can again destroy the actors so that's a very quick and simple way how to fix this this issue so the is valid node is going to come in quite handy uh, because often maybe on the first uh, first action uh, something is not yet valid so maybe you want to make sure that you create it uh, during that process and previously i said about the references you can get the reference when you spawn a thing uh, also you can get references from example from the overlap events so begin overlap here it returns you the other actor that you did overlap so it's going to give you the reference to that specific actor so again if we overlap a different character then we could cast to that third person character and if it was a character then it's going to give it give it out to us if it's not then it's going to fail the cast and uh, also we can do the line trace or sphere trace or whatever trace by whatever then it's going to give us the actor reference as a hit actor on the hit result and uh yeah there are also some other events like hit events uh, so if we take this one we have the hit component events so there are quite a few ways how to get these reference now the one thing that did take me a while to find out about was this node right here uh it took me i think for the first year i wasn't quite sure exactly how to get the player's references correctly uh, so i was often it's not a bad thing as well it's actually maybe even a better thing you can just make this exposed on spawn and instance editable so you can uh, provide these values from the outside of the widget and then whenever you create this when you expose it on spawn you can set it over here so you can set the self-reference to be like this 
and then in this situation you actually no longer even need this part because whenever you spawn the actor it's instantly gonna set the third person characters variables value and it's instantly going to be available over here so as you can see again the health is working and there are no errors in the log uh, so yeah this is a very common error i noticed that a lot of people have this received uh, recently in my discord so i thought it's going to be a good idea uh, to make this video and explain this a little bit finding this error like i said it's pretty easy simply uh, make sure that you go ahead and read the error message properly uh, i made so many fixes that it no longer gives me no longer gives me the error so... so the most important part is understanding how you can read this error so again it's gonna say that you access none and it's gonna say you the property which it did not access and then you can click on the node which is using this property and then basically backtrack through its inputs to see where is this variable that is not accessed and make sure you set it to be something so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, feel free to join my Discord and I see you in the next one.